mix, 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 and mix. Hello friends and welcome back to Rachel's Baking Corner. Today we will be making toffee pretzels snack mix. So let me explain. Yesterday, for the first time, my colleague had brought in these Trader Joe's toffee pretzels. Never heard of such a thing before. This is a buttery, sweet, candied little pretzel snack with little toffee bits that is just salty and sweet, but not too sweet and crunchy and delightful. And I was like, where has this been all my life? I need to make this. Now, tis the season for family gatherings, gathering with friends and the people you love. And while you'll have your pumpkin pie and you'll have your, you know, Christmas cookies, my family has always been a fan of the snack mixes. My grandma would always make trail mix. We would always have nuts out on the table. We always had little mixes for little finger food snacking throughout the day. And immediately my brain was like, ooh, I need to make this into a little snack mix. Why not, instead of just pretzels, we add some pecans and some cashews, make it a little bit more variety. So without further ado, let's talk ingredients. Let's talk tools and order of operations and we'll get bacon. Yeah, I'm so excited. So for this recipe, which I have linked down below for just the traditional pretzels, um, you need a 16 ounce bag of mini pretzels. Mini because it's just easier to eat. Now I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna be adding ingredients like pecans and cashews, there might not be enough toffee to go around. How do I do the math? I'm not good at math. So instead, I already opened my pretzels and I took out a serving, basically like I filled a whole sandwich bag with pretzels and decided that should do fine. Just take some of the pretzels out and then replace it with these other ingredients. I had so many different ideas going through my brain. I'm like, we could do peanuts. Uh, we could do like um, the little toffee bits. This does recommend Heath toffee bits, but that has chocolate on it when I looked at the grocery store. And I was like, is the chocolate gonna interfere with like this toffee making process? It goes in the oven and you're gonna be baking this, that chocolate's gonna melt, and I just didn't trust it. And so I just was like, meh, no toffee bits. We're making toffee, so it's fine. <laughs> so we need a 16 ounce bag of pretzels or minus some and whatever stuff you wanna add to it. And then you need one cup of brown sugar, one half of a cup of butter cubed up, one fourth of a cup of light brown corn syrup. Eventually you'll need a teaspoon of vanilla and half a teaspoon of baking soda. So of course I've never made this before. A lot of this video is gonna be kind of like handheld first person point of view, but bear with me. Basically we're going to make the toffee and that'll do on the stove by melting these ingredients together, pouring said toffee over the pretzels and things, laying it out on a cookie sheet, so you will need a cookie sheet and a mixing bowl, laying it out and putting it in a 200 degree oven and letting it slowly bake for an hour, tossing it around every like 15 minutes to like really get that candy coating moving around. So. Without further ado, let's do that. I'm going to get my pretzels and I'm gonna dump them in here. Next, I'm gonna get my pecans and open this up. Do I wanna use the whole thing? And these are halved. I figured they're big pieces of pretzel. Might as well do big halves of pecans. You could probably crush them up and do smaller pieces. Let me mix it around and see what half of the package looks like. Well, all the pecans sunk to the bottom, so let's just do it. Who cares? My cat is here. <laughs> so if you see her jump up and in the background, there's nothing I can do about it. She's, she's young, wild, and free. Now I have cashews. My favorite nut, by the way. This is, um, I didn't even tell you how much. They're both about like eight to 10 ounces. Like I said, I don't do math. I just bake. I let the recipe do the math for me. I'm 
I'm gonna prep my pan. I'm gonna use what's the same size as like a full cookie sheet but with higher walls just because I feel like it'll make for easier mixing without you know pretzels going everywhere. Seems easier. So in order to keep the parchment paper to stick to the pan and also to make sure none of the candy sticks to my pan and ruins it, I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick spray. Jeez. <laughs> Take a little bit of paper towel and just kind of smear that around so that all the metal is coated. Okay, so my pan is prepped and ready to go. Let's get our saucepan. We need to include the brown sugar into the saucepan, the light brown corn syrup, or the light corn syrup, and then the cubes of butter. This is kind of like making caramel, which is what toffee is, but when you add the baking soda, it creates a chemical reaction I suppose. That includes a lot of air, which fluffs it up to make the toffee. If you were on the squid game train, you saw how they make the little toffee discs with a little star in it, and then you have to like crack it up. That's the same concept. <laughs> okay, let's go to the stove top. All right, so we are over medium heat. We're gonna stir this up for five minutes. Let it boil and then we'll pull it off the stove. We need to be stirring, whoops, stirring constantly, which is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> this is what we're looking like after about a minute. The butter is starting to melt. The brown sugar is starting to melt. We're just gonna keep stirring. All right, we're boiling. I have a timer set for five minutes. We're just gonna keep stirring. I switched to a whisk to make it, the butter get in there a little easier. And yeah. We're getting some really beautiful active bubbling now. I have the timer going. We've got about two and a half minutes left. I think we're just really trying to candyfy this. I turned the heat down to more of like a medium low. And I'm just gonna be whisking. I would suggest a whisk longer than this because my hand is on fire. All right, timer has 30 seconds left. I have my oven preheating to 200 degrees. We're gonna pour this on our pretzels. Well, we're gonna add baking soda and vanilla and then we're gonna pour it onto our pretzels. All right, so I can't really show you a close up for this because I need two hands, but this has been going for five minutes. Let's get our vanilla. It's like a teaspoon, I think. I'm just gonna splash some in. And our baking soda, it's gonna make a reaction, hopefully, I think. I believe the alcohol from the vanilla just went up into my eyes. Okay, so now we have, ooh, it's significantly lighter in color, let me show you. All right, we're light and fluffy now that we've added that baking soda, wow crazy what it just did. I'm gonna pour it onto the stuff now. Let's do it. I have a bigger spatula just in case because this might need more elbow grease. So let's pour this in on top. It's very light in color. Looks beautiful. Smells like caramel, exactly as you would expect from brown sugar and butter. <laughs> okay, let's toss this around. Ooh, it got on my finger. Holy hot. Okay. Just hope this gets on all of it. Oh, toss, toss, hurry, I feel it, I feel the anxiety. Two spatulas, two spatulas. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it got on my fingers. Ow, it's molten hot. Oh, jeez. Scoop, Rachel, scoop. Scoop. I bet like some latex gloves probably would have been smart, but that's okay. And maybe a bigger bowl.
Okay, so I think that's as tossed around as I can get it. Let's pour it onto our sheet. Okay, let's get the hot pan out of our way here. Ooh, hot, ha! Oh, this is dangerous. And let's just press it out. I don't know if it, I don't know if I got it even coating. The nuts don't look like they have anything on it. So let's hope it, it will continue to melt, I assume, in the oven. I have my oven at 200 degrees, ready to go. Let's hope for the best here. Okay, so we are going to put this in the oven at 200 degrees for an hour. And then we are going to um, toss it every 15 minutes to like coat the candy coating so that it's not one big brick. We want it to be like evenly mixed around. I'm not gonna film all of that because that's a lot. Just trust in me that I'm just gonna be pulling it out, shimmying it around, and then putting it back in for the next hour. So let's do that. All right, here we are an hour later. Um, this didn't turn out exactly how I expected. It doesn't look like the picture, and it's not like that fluffy, toffee, crispy shell. It's more like a hard caramel. So I might not have boiled my caramel long enough. I might have had too much stuff for it to coat onto. I don't know. Either way, it's gonna taste really good, so it doesn't really matter, but. <laughs> Not exactly how I expected it to turn out. And the parchment paper was a terrible choice. I don't like how it asked for that because every time you tried stirring it around, the parchment paper is lifting up and moving and spreading around and bending and then stuff is getting under the parchment paper and it's stupid. It wasn't sticking to my pan at all, it was fine. Maybe a silicone baking mat next time or something like that because that was not easy or helpful at all. <laughs> but without further ado, let's taste this bad boy. Let me give you a close up. Here we are. You can see the shiny coating. Let me find a piece that kind of really, yeah, like that looks like caramel. That does not look like toffee, but it turned out okay, I think. Got some good candied nuts and pretzels. I'm really excited to taste this. Mmm, smells really good. Let's try it. This piece on top is perfect. Let's see. You got some nuts and some toffee and some pretzel. Do I do the whole thing? That might be a lot. Bon appetit. Okay, so it's not like sticking in your teeth caramel, thank God. So I did cook it enough for that at least. Still crumbles, melts in the mouth. There's no added salt to the recipe, so the salt on the pretzels is actually perfect. Um, I just wish it had a little more like that crisp toffee texture. These little bits of just pretzel and like cashew Mmm, delightful. You can mess this recipe up. I don't think I did. I probably just had too much filling, so I'll figure it out. But, mmm, I like it. Well, it also makes quite the serving. So this is perfect for a family gathering, a group. Take it to work for just light munching throughout the day. That's exactly where this is going. As of tomorrow, it will be at my work. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for watching. This was definitely a little different. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any recommendations or recipes you'd like me to try, leave me a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to look into it for you. Um, please subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Thank you, I love you. Mwah.
，拜拜。